What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to use HTTPS and certificates in Flask. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to enable HTTPS and how to use certificates in Flask today. And the first thing you need to do if you don't have Flask installed yet is you wanna open up your terminal and you wanna type pip or pip3 install Flask. And once you have Flask installed, we're going to build now a very simple application just to showcase the principle, a simple hello world application. And we're gonna just say from Flask import Flask, and we're gonna create an application which is gonna be equal to Flask and underscore underscore name underscore underscore. It's gonna have a single route, which is gonna be app route, the default route, and the method or the function is going to be called hello, and it's just gonna return a simple string, hello world. So nothing too fancy here, and we're gonna say if name is equal to main, then we wanna run the application. So that's the default way uh, in which Flask applications are structured. So you just run this, and when you run this, you will see, first of all, it says here HTTP. I can open this, and in the browser, it opens the website with Hell World here. And if I now try to add HTTPS in front of that to basically use a different protocol, it tells me here secure connection failed. It doesn't say that there's a potential risk. It doesn't show me a warning that I can just accept. It shows me it doesn't work at all because I'm not using HTTPS. There is no certificate that I can be using here. Uh, and this is what we're going to learn how to do in this video today. How can we use a certificate in the Flask application to enable HTTPS? Now, a very simple way to do that just for testing purposes, if you want to work with HTTPS, but you don't have a certificate yet, is you can just say SSL underscore context equals ad hoc. And this will then just use a dummy, dummy certificate um, to enable HTTPS. You can see here it is enabled now. And it tells me there is a potential security risk. I can just accept it and continue. And you can see now I'm using HTTPS. And I can click on this here. I can check the connection. I can get more information and show the certificate. And you can see it's a dummy certificate. Um, yeah, so it is a certificate, but it's not really a certificate. Um, now, actually, there are two ways to do this. There's one way in which you will actually do this. And there's one way that we're going to do here now for the sake of simplicity to showcase the principle, we are going to use a self signed certificate, which means we're going to create our own certificate and our own key on our system using open SSL. And then we're going to provide the certificate and the key um, to the application. So to flask. In reality, what you would do is you would have to have a domain name, you would have to go to a certificate authority, a certification authority, so to a CA, uh, you can get a let's encrypt certificate, for example, for free, and you would have to uh, then install everything, set everything up with a cert bot. Maybe I'm going to make a, few, uh, a video in the future about this showing the full process on an actual web server. Today, we're going to just keep it simple, we're going to generate our own certificate and key on our system using OpenSSL, and then we're going to pass them here as a context. So we're going to open up our command line, we're going to move to the directory that we're currently working in. And we're going to run the following command. And of course, for this, you need OpenSSL installed on your system. Uh, you type open SSL, and then rec x 509 new key, RSA, and then 4096 dash notes dash out. And now you want to specify the name of your certificate. In my case, I'm going to go with cert.pem. And then we want to say dash key out. And now the name of your key, in my case, key.pem. And then dash days, how long should this certificate be valid? I'm going to say 365 days, so one year. And then you can just click enter it will generate something and then you can provide some information. For example, I can say AT for Austria, I can say Vienna, I can say Vienna again, I can say that the uh, organization is neural nine, um, I can say it's the video department. And I can say it's again neural nine. And I can say it's server at neural nine.com for the email. And then I have my key and my certificate. And all I have to do now to 
add this to the Flask application. So it's actually, um, there, there's actually a certificate running on the server. This particular certificate is I have to say SSL um, context again, equals and then a tuple and the tuple will contain cert.pem, so the path to the certificate and then also key.pem. And actually I have two times SSL context here. So this is how you do that. And of course, this should be actually a certificate that is issued by a CA and not by yourself. And uh, you can then just, just run this. I can go again, I can accept the risk again. And now you will see when I click up here that the certificate is actually going to contain the information here. Now, again, it's still self signed, it's not issued by, by a CA, you will always get the warning that it's a security risk. So you don't want to have this actually on your server. But you can see the information is in here neural nine, video department server at neural .com, Vienna, Austria. Uh, yeah, so all the information is in here. And this is now flask running over HTTPS using my certificate and my key. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.